Hey guys, it's Savannah here, back again with another deck review. This deck right here is the Carnival Inferno deck, so let's get right on in to the deck. Now, this deck right here is a very interesting designed and themed deck. Um, you'll notice that there are skulls, fire, Egyptian hieroglyphics, all kinds of definitely interesting things put into this deck to make it very flashy and um, very different looking. As you can see on the front, there's a flames, skulls, stars, um, horned animal things, um, and then it says Carnival Inferno playing cards at the bottom. On the side, it says brought to you by Carnival's um, CarnivalIncorporated.com, and the other side doesn't say anything, but as you can tell, um, it's supposed to look like a worn book, so like this is the binding on one side, and then these are the pages. And the top, you can see the pages, and the bottom, you can see the pages, and there's also copyright information on the bottom. There's a black USPC seal on the cards themselves, and then the design continues onto the flaps, and the inside of the box is white. On the back, we get a glimpse of the back design, which is very different and very interesting, and we will get into that once we get inside the cards. So here's the back design. On the card, you can see like a figure of a face. It almost looks like there's a gas mask on the front, um, horns or wings, and then like leaves coming out of the background, almost like blood spatter in the middle. Um, and then you can see like the Egyptian hieroglyphics up here incorporated. Um, the borders on these cards are like a worn, like blood red color, and it's a subtle one way back because if you look down here and then you turn the card the other way, you'll see that the color has changed, which makes it a subtle one way back design. Definitely something different, but very interesting. With the deck, you get two jokers, and you can see like a devil-type figure coming out of the flames here. You can see the eyes and the horns here. It says joker at the top, and there's a skull in the sun here. And then this one, it just kind of looks like an angel-type figure um, coming out of the flames with joker at the top, and then the sun. They're the same design, it's just the horns and the eyes have been added on one joker, and they have not been added on the other. Next, you get a blank card, and then a big blind media promo card. So now let's check out the Ace of Spades. It's very much fitting with the overall theme. You can see a skull in the middle of the spade, flames coming out of the background, almost like there's horns coming out at the top. Very interesting, very much so fits with the overall theme of the deck, which is kind of very dark, spooky, scary, devilish. Very different than decks we normally see, but very interesting all at the same time. So next we'll check out the court cards, the king, the queen, and the jack of spades. Um, this is a, a custom-ish, it's a standard looking uh, court card, but the eyes have been changed to red and there's actually like pitchforks in each of their hands, as you can see that, and all of the court cards are just alike to that. They all have pitchforks and they all have the red and eyes, but they are all standard looking. If we take a look through the deck, you'll see that the pips are standard, but all the backs of the cards look like the fronts and that the borders have that red on them. Um, they're standard cards, but they have that coloration in the middle of all the number cards. Um, but the pip placement, sizes, coloration of the pips themselves are all standard. Um, but the customization elements made to the inside definitely look cool and definitely fit with the overall theme. This is a very interesting deck designed by the guy who makes almost all the carnival cards, Sam Hales. Um, it's very interesting and it has a different vibe than we normally see on decks of cards. What I do like about this deck is I've had it for quite a while and I've used it quite a bit. And as you guys can tell, there's a quite a bit of ink on the cards uh, because of just the coloration themselves. And it is surprisingly held up very well. It handles a lot better than some of the other carnival cards in, in my collection. Um, this is a definite step up. It's one of the newer carnival cards, um, even though it's a few years old now. Um, it definitely handles better than some of the originals. It doesn't handle the best, don't get me wrong, it does clump after a few hours. Um, and the stock does feel um, slightly thin on these cards, and that's a trend you see with some of the carnival decks. But other than that, it handles well, and it has held up pretty well over time. Um, you can see that the corners have been chipping just a tad bit because um, of the coloration of the cards but that is to come with the territory since they are colored cards. But overall, this is a solid deck of cards. Um, I might not like the overall design. I think it might be just a little too much, but it's something different that we don't normally see on a daily basis. So this overall deck, I would have to give a 3.5 out of 5. The stock of this deck, as I said before, it is um, very thin feeling, and that's something you get a lot with the carnival cards. However, it is held up very well. Um, this deck is a few years old now and still handles um, pretty good. 
uh, I definitely applaud it for that, um, but the stock does feel pretty thin. So the stock of this deck, I would have to give a 3 out of 5. The look of this deck, I think, is very interesting. It's something that we don't see on a daily basis. Everything fits together very well within the theme. The Tuckbots, the Jokers, the Ace of Spades, all the court cards, everything fits very well. Maybe it's a little much, it's a little over the top, but at the same time, it all fits together very well. But it's maybe not my cup of tea on a back design, but still very cool. So the overall look of this deck, I would have to give a 4 out of 5. The handling and feel of this deck has surprisingly um, been a lot better than I expected initially. Um, it's lasted quite a while longer than I expected the deck to. It still handles well after the deck has been used, and it is a few years old now. And I do applaud it for that. As I said before, it is a lot better handling than some of the older Carnival decks. And this is one of the newer ones, but it still handles a lot better than I originally expected. So the handling and feel of this deck, I would have to give a 4 out of 5. So, thank you guys so much for watching my Carnival Inferno deck review. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below to let me know you guys enjoyed the video. Also, any questions, comments, concerns about this deck right here, definitely leave that in the comment section below. Also, be sure to subscribe to be notified when my next deck review, unboxing, or other video is live. That's your only way to be notified. All my social media links are down in the description box below, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the stuff where you can find me at, definitely check that out below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love each and every single one of you guys watching. And definitely stay tuned for my next deck review, unboxing, or other video coming your way real soon.